Feeling disconnected from Baby, calm down in my place, it's just easy I'm sorry I'm a mess Baby, please don't leave me I could be my feeling disconnected from Baby, calm down in my place, it's just easy All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I told you guys we were gonna finally start working on the 240. We did a lot of rearranging around the shop. Last time I said that the light went out somewhere right there, that light went out. So we got a, we got this pretty badass light for 40 bucks at Walmart. So if you guys want something like that, go to Walmart, dude. It was pretty cheap and super bright. It actually makes a big difference in the shop. We have everything except the clutch, but everything to get the 240 turned on We'll try to get it turned on. <laughs> we'll see if we can. I have everything. It should be, it should be a piece of cake. So in today's video, we'll be dropping the subframe and putting in the new gas tank with the radium fuel pump hanger. Super excited to do this. We took the one UZ out because we will be getting the clutch very, very soon. And Jose is making me do the oil pan on this. Tonight, we're not gonna do anything. We were just getting everything prepared. So. Tomorrow, we can start dropping the subframe and everything. I just wanted to let you guys know what we were doing. So I'm excited. What about you? I'm excited. Because Jose, once we get this car out, it's SR time. Yeah, and Nismo time. Oh, Nismo time. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, we're back at the shop. It's the next day. I basically just got off of work, came straight to the shop. So we get this gas tank out. Well, we gotta get the subframe out first, and then the gas tank. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Hopefully it don't take that long. Should be like, take the tires off, unbolt the, just the coil from the bottom, and then the four bolts on the subframe, and that's it. It should just pop out. Simple. I don't know about the gas tank. I've never done gas tank on this before. I'm gonna pull it out and go from there. All right, with YouTube magic, be like us and try to save every 240 that you see, because it's not worth it. I kind of want to give up. This shit is rusty. And now I have to look for Z32 backing plates that I totally forgot. That's more money. Ah, oh, let's just get this thing dropped down so I could see what else I need to pay for. That's the one I need. Does it, how bad does it look? It looks pretty bad, right? Oh yeah, I'm not buying that. Two bolts for your coilover. You take off this one bolt on each side. The main bolts that are holding the subframe up and then everything should just drop down. Wish me luck. I hope I don't die and if I do, Will you finish my car? It don't look that bad. It's just fucking dirty. I don't know. I don't know. That's hella rust. That was a part. That's those are the knuckles though. There was a part down here. All you guys is little thing on it. Look right here. All of this is pretty heavy rust. I'll just go get a fucking pot cutter. That's what if I'm gonna do. Paint it yourself. Paint it yourself. It's not. Or sandblasting because they can do just sandblasting too. I'll just get it powder coated. But I got to take off all the arms because everything is getting replaced. Yeah. The knuckles are gonna get replaced. I think K I think uh, PBM has no. knuckles for them. So we'll do the gas thing. We'll put it back on. But then we got to drop it again, so I can do the subframe. Then you have to leave the car like this for a while. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> so we get all the suspension components done. Fuck it. We'll drop the subframe again. 
We'll get it powder coated. I'll start searching for another subframe to start building just like Jose was doing. He's a very smart man. Ask him for questions. He knows a lot. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this gas tank out. Let's pull this back, drop the gas tank, put the other gas tank in, and I hope the, the straps on it are still good. Uh, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? I think we gotta take off this. The shield? Yeah. So, let's take off everything. One, two, three. Oh, This is how you take off an S14 gas tank. Oh, 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 oh. It's the, the hose over here and just stuck. Okay. All we have to do is get this last one out and then we should be able to pull it out. It's in the truck already. Don't worry about it. Trash. Let's go get this other one on. On? You gonna put it on today? You want to or no? Well, we need to fix that strap. Sure that. You're right. I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Day number. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Day number four. I'm working on the S14 fuel tank. Oh my God, dude. It's just problems after problems after problem. It's like the littlest fucking things. My bad for the language. It's the littlest things. So yesterday I was supposed to put the gas tank back up in the S14, didn't even happen. So let me explain what's going on. So look, the S14 had an issue. If you can see that hanger, or if you can see that plastic part right there, there was still rust on there and I had to get it out. So yesterday, all I did was get it out. I got the rest of the rust out of it and rust fell into the gas tank, which mean I had to clean it back out once again. And I'm not done with that. I still got to clean it out. So I was going to do a video on installing the radium fuel hanger with the vibrant hoses on another video i'll be installing the radium fuel hanger onto the gas tank because i have to do this this is the only way to have reinsurance of me knowing that no particles no rust particles are going to go into the one uz injectors and clog them up yesterday made sure the fuel pump worked so i got gas in here and i transferred it into here and all I did is put positive and negative to the battery and sure enough, it started working. I'm going to install a hanger into the gas tank. I'm gonna fill up the gas tank to probably about mid and cipher it. This is basically what the fuel hanger is gonna be looking like once it's in the fuel tank and once it's in the vehicle. So you'll be running your pump out, which is, <clears throat> this will be pumping the fuel to the engine. And then you get your return coming back to the gas tank and then it just cycles over and go over. So we only have one pump wired up. So you're just gonna throw a positive and a uh, negative on. And then you got your ground for your level, low fuel and temp. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not gonna deal with any of this right now because I gotta cycle out the gas and see how much bad shit we can get out of this. And it's gonna go into here. So I'm gonna run a fuel line from here to there. And that's pretty much it. I gotta wire up it real quick. So I'll just get some wires that I have right here and just 
put it to the back. All right, guys, when you're doing something like this with gas and electric, be very, very careful because this shit can blow up. So I got my negative all the way to negative, which is right there with pump one and positive has a screw. And all you should do is So the, the gas tank is finally in. Oh man, dude, this took me forever <laughs> doing it one person. Um, it wasn't that bad, but I had to take out all the gas that we were testing earlier. It's all out, put the gas tank in, use brute force and it's in. Um, everything's pretty good. Uh, earlier we went to go get the old gas tank, cut it out to get the fuel sending leveler. Uh, I tested it, didn't work, so we'll be. Ha I'll have to find one and buy it so I can wire it in so I can have a fuel level. But for right now, I really don't need it. We can turn the car on, make sure everything runs. Whenever we get to that point of turning the car on, um, I think after this video, we'll probably be working on the rear end just to put the 350z diff we got to get it welded welded and line up everything we also got to drill some holes for the drive shaft to make sure it fits and after that i wanted to do i wanted to do the radium fuel hanger but since what was going on with everything like the gas tank making sure it's clean and dry and has no debris i won't be doing that so basically you guys got two installs in one so the radium fuel tank i mean the radiator radiatum radium radiatum fuel hanger installation and the gas tank so in the next couple of videos we'll be doing the vibrant the vibrant lines from all the way up there all the way to the front of the engine well i will basically just follow all these lines all the way over there um get all the fuel lines uh in good in a good area we'll probably mock it up with the same area but um get all the fuel lines ready and then start getting the fuel pump regulator or no the fuel regulator the fuel pump no we got the fuel pump the fuel pump the fuel regulator the fuel regulator and the uh fuel filter up in the in the engine bay or we can locate it somewhere around here. Today was super stressful. This video was probably one of the hardest videos to do because it took part in three days, four days. So I'm just gonna finish it out right now, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next vlog coming out actually today. Well, soon. So peace. I'm a fucking time for someone to hate me In the end I'm not surprised